What's poppin' homies? It's your boy Frank Nitty and I'm back in the building, back in the office. As I promised you, I'm gonna give you this comprehensive review of the Jordan 17s. So let's make it. First and foremost, you got this packaging. This is what the shoes came in. This is a trophy room bag. This bag is given to you for every purchase that you make during a pop-up or whether you visit the store. This is pretty much the initial signature bag of the trophy room. Pretty much simple, trophy room words, and you got the trophy room logo on the front. And inside of the bag, it says, welcome to the family. I'll tell y'all guys about the 17. So peep the label. On the label, it says Air Jordan 17s Retro trophy room this is a size 12 first and foremost this box was signed by marcus jordan it says welcome to the family and on the very top you see where it says balling on the budget it says ball on budget but let's just say balling on a budget and if you guys watch my previous video you obviously know that i give you guys my first look and first thought but this is going to be a comprehensive review so i really don't do reviews but i feel i had to do it with this one given the fact how much i paid so let's get into it next you got this trophy room shirt the only thing, I, the only gripe I have about this shirt was that you only got one size. So depends on what size shoes you wear, you get a t-shirt with it because I'm a size 12 and when it came with extra large, they won't let me cherry it out for a medium or a large. That's the only factor I dislike. It's like, y'all want a medium, but I'm stuck with this extra large. But nevertheless, man, it's a dope shirt, dope concept. You do got the uh, Jordan 17s and you do have 17s going down, trophy room. Pretty dope shirt. Would I rock it? I don't know, man. It's kind of big on me. You guys can see that. Next, we have what y'all been waiting for, man. The Jordan 17 trophy room. Yo, first and foremost, man, these shoes retail for 323. That's right, $323 plus tax. Also, uh, if I could find a tweet, Marcus said that he was trying to get the suitcase that came with the shoes originally, but he said it would have added to the cost of the price and it would brought it would increase it a lot higher. So that's why the suitcase was omitted in this pickup. You got the regular Jordan box with the gold Jumpman foil. So whatever brought the price down is cool with me. I wish we had had the suitcase with that price. Then it would be justifiable. First, let's get into the price since that's probably a lot of people's concern. The price was a factor. It was also a factor in my decision making too. Um, a lot of people reported it was going to be 190 I know it was not because no trophy room exclusive shoes were ever 190 it was always 250 275 and up. This is the third Trophy Room sneaker released exclusively to the Trophy Room. This is actually my first time. The second one was those French Blues, uh, those 16s, and they had a strap on them as well. I was in the building to get them, but it took a while for they got to my number, so I, me and my son did. Also copped the Jordan Black Toes that day. But that's too much info. That ain't what you guys are here for. You guys want to know about these and what I think about the price. The price is somewhat justifiable because the quality shoe, the hand craftsmanship, and the concept is dope. Now, do I still think it's a bit much? I think it's extremely bit much. I would like to see this probably around 250, 275, being that it's an exclusive shoe. And exclusivity uh, was only limited to the trophy room. And it was only 4,500 pairs, if I'm not mistaken, that was dropped. And also, um, I got right that on the website. So if you go to trophyroomstore.com and you click on these shoes, you will see that currently these shoes are supposed to be only released for one day and one day only. Now, if you want the shoe, since it's two days past, you can only get them via email order. And there's instructions on the website, so go and visit that if you still care or are interested after this comprehensive review. All right, now let's get into the shoe, man. I do a lot of talking, man. I know y'all want to see more pictures and definitely want to see them on feet, man. So you do have a predominantly suede upper, which is met on the toe box and also towards the back heel of the shoe. And on the tip of the tongue, you also have that suede material. The suede is pretty dope. I like this type of suede or new buck or whatever you guys want to call it. It's very soft. It's not like the suede you see in those uh, recently released fives with the, the hairy suede. I'm not a fan of that type of suede. I like my new buck. I like my short hair suede. And this shoe uh, did it for me. So that was a plus off jump. There is multiple jump mats throughout the shoe. So I counted eight jump mats on one shoe. You got the first jump mat on the lateral side. Medial side, toe box, insert, heel, outsole, and on these eyelix up front, have one on each side. So that's a total of eight Jumpman logos on one particular shoe. But this is a shoe without the shroud. Let's look at the shoe with the shroud. On the shroud, it do have some music notes. 
And I think that was inspired by the Aston Martin. Now, to be fair, I don't know if Marcus got the concept from the Aston Martin with Drake and Rick Ross. I'm not sure, but that's the first thing I think of with Aston Martin. Um, he did a video. I'll probably show that video. I'm probably sure I'm gonna show you that video somewhere in here where he actually did like a promo uh, video for these shoes where he was driving the Aston Martin. with it before but eventually I got it off after I figured it out so it's not too hard to uh, take off now rocking the shroud when you do it casually probably not if you rock these casually I probably like this look but if you plan to play ball this is probably a better look for you because this do provide a lockdown here could these shoes play ball yeah but I'm sure there's a lot of lighter shoes and a lot cheaper shoes that you probably prefer to hoop in other than these joints, man. These shoes were limited to 4,500 pairs. These shoes don't carry a limited number, but on the website it says less than 4,500 pairs of these were made. And he said he was only gonna make them available for purchase at the pop-up and online after 10 p.m. that day. You could only do email orders, so you have to submit an email format, ask them if they have a pair, they will reply if they do have a pair. Hopefully it's the same premise where it was these were free shipping to anyone in the domestic United States. So if you live here and you want this pair, you could have got it at no shipping charge. Just pay $3.45 and you would have got these in hand to your doorstep, free shipping. Also, um, other details I found about this shoe. You do have a 23 on the toe end cap on both pairs of the shoe. And what I've noticed too about the Jordan 17s, so if you look at it closely, gold piece right here, it says Jordan, but the two, la the two last words spell 17. So you got J-O-R-D. One seven, and that's I thought that was a dope touch. I picked that up late. That's a pretty much hidden Easter egg on the shoes. I'm not sure they did all Jordan 17s like that, but I just found that out. I thought that was that was pretty dope. The rope laces on these joints is thick. It felt like you got uh, it's not the Jordan One shoelaces where it's like you can go to Walmart and you can pick those shoelaces up for like 99 cents. Or these are pretty thick laces, which I do like, which complement the shoe pretty well in my opinion. Given these shoes are highly crafted and the craftsmanship is on par. These laces do play a big part on the design factor of the shoe. It's not like they give us some cheap behind laces and throw on the shoe. These are heavy weighted, thicker laces that they actually implemented on this shoe and I thought that was a good touch and make it feel more substantial when you have these in. And as you know, I got a size 12. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the internal label. The bedding of the shoe do have some nylon or neoprene type feel. It's not leather or anything like that. So I guess that's probably for more for basketball if you're actually gonna hoop in this shoe. It's probably for more breathing purposes. And also you can tell through the tongue, they get that same neoprene mesh material. You know, tongue never get no love. But there's no logo or anything on the tongue. You just met with the elastic similar to like what you have on the shroud. It's an elastic grade area right here. These holes at the bottom do hold in the shroud on both sides on the medial and lateral side. This is a glossy, a high glossy finish, just which also make it look dope for wearing it casually. For the back heel of this gold foil wrapping around the heel, there is a plastic that's, that's covering it and I'm gonna leave that on. Leave it on if you have a pair, I personally would, just in case you run into it or your heel hit something, it's not gonna show the next. Uh, you do have this glossy finish carbon fiber towards the bottom as well, towards your uh, the arch of your foot. This is this is dope, that's a dope touch, and it's high gloss too, so it definitely pops as well. Underneath the shoe, there's not much going on, man. I'm not sure if this has zoom ear inside of the shoe. Um, it do look like it has some pods like you see on the set on the 11s, but it's not distinctive though. I don't know if these gold areas is where the zoom meets. That also, I doubt it. I don't think they have that much zoom in there, but these shoes can be hooped in if you're balling like that and uh, you don't mind. Bro, I think I have covered the basis of these shoes. So I got these joints on Saturday and this is my comprehensive review. I hope you guys stay towards the end and watch that on feet. And let me know what you guys think.
But anyways, man, that's enough for me rambling, man. I appreciate each and every single one of you. I hope you like this review. Pause. I thank each and every single one of you guys for taking your time out to watch this video, this comprehensive review of the Jordan 17's Trophy Room Exclusive, which was limited to 4,500 pairs, but which was a little bit on the up on the price. Nevertheless, man, I appreciate you for staying with me and watching this video all the way through. If you're new to this channel, man, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also notification bell as well. On my day ones, man, if you like this review of the boy, I hit the thumbs up button. It really means a lot. Until then, y'all, you already know my slogan. Good to go.